Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. Hopefully you're having a pleasant day or a night, regardless of where you are worldwide. I want to say hello to you. Uh, this program is about ways to miraculously uh, allow your body to change and heal. Uh, miracle foods and great tips I'm going to give you to help combat gout. You will see results within a day if you do the right thing. But I have some great things to share with you. Uh, I just want to briefly go into a little bit of what gout is. It's uh, high uric acid. Uh, uric acid uh, is filtered out uh, from the kidneys. If, kidneys. if the kidneys are not getting rid of it, we build up a uric acid. We then get crystals in the body that can be laid down in certain joints. Uh, there are certain uh, foods that we eat that uh, have uh, purines in them. And obviously, this is changed into uric acid by the metabolic activity of the body, and the uric acid is then eliminated through the kidneys. But if there's any disruption in this process, then gout evolves, and it can cause pain. Uh, crystals being put into the joints, into the toes, into the knees. Very, very painful. And I will tell you that the majority of people will respond phenomenal by good diet. Uh, I do recommend that if you have this condition, always follow up with medical, uh, your medical doctor. But I will tell you, if you follow what I'm about to tell you, I really think that the majority of people are going to do excellent. This is going to be very thorough, but very fast. Uh, how do you get this? As we talked about, by bad diet. Uh, normal values of uric acid in men, 3.5 to 7. Women, 2.5 to 5.7. The treatment, many uh, doctors will just put you on anti-inflammatories or uh, drugs to help lower the uric acid. But I don't recommend uh, the drugs if you don't have to. The first thing I would tell you to do is to lose weight. I would tell you first off is that uh, doctors don't say lose weight. They just say, you know, don't eat purines, don't eat these foods, eat these other foods. But if you lose weight and drink lots of water and really, really hydrate yourself, I really think you're going to see great results. That's number one. Now, uh, this can erode bone. Uh, this can lead into arthritic changes. This can deteriorate the joint. This is acid, and acid can erode bone, and it's very, very painful. Uh, and you can look at pictures and go through Google, and you can see the toe, how it gets real, real red, real swollen, very, very painful. I'm sure people out there will leave plenty of comments under this video when they see it. So as we say, the first thing I'm going to recommend is to reduce the high uric acid levels. Uh, you need to limit alcohol, limit sugary foods. The main two things you really need to limit, the sugary foods, the alcohol, and the rich uh, purine foods like your uh, meats, poultry, seafoods, uh, uh, vegetables like uh, uh, spinach, uh, cauliflower, asparagus, mushrooms. Uh, they contain a lot of purines. So digestion of this, as we said, uh, converts into the uric acid. And if it's not being taken out of the bloodstream, it's going to build up on you. But water does help flush it out. Uh, 10 glasses, 12 glasses, 13 glasses, it doesn't matter. Drink it. You'll urinate it out. Your urine will be nice and clear. Uh, cherries, which I'm going to go into after, but cherries have a tremendous, amazing anti-inflammatory uh, uh, chemicals in that helps reduce uric acid. It prevents uric acid from crystallizing, from being deposited in the joints. It pr does prevent inflammation. I'm a big berry guy, the strawberries, the blueberries. Uh, uh, those all have a lot of great natural anti-inflammatory properties. So include them in your diet. I love apples. Apples have uh, malic acid. Malic acid neutralizes uric acid and, and provides tremendous relief to those people who are suffering. So uh, they say an apple a day, eat a several apples. I think it's great for you. Lime is like a magic. Lime, uh, the citric acid found in this solvent uh, of, uh, helps emulsify this uric acid. And uh, studies show that the juice uh, of about half a lime squeezed into a glass of water, that could be done like twice a day. Very, very powerful. And, you know, those fruits have miraculous enzymes, very, very powerful. Uh, French bean juice. Uh, they talk about home remedies of gout by French beans juice. This juice actually emulsifies this gout uh, by destructing that high uric acid. Celery seed, I'll touch on that after, but celery seed is probably one of the most powerful things. Uh, you can get the seed extract for better results. Apple cider vinegar. This is the miracle. I will tell you that this is the miracle. People say, well, I'm taking it. It's not really helping me. Well, bump it up. 
Some people may be taking like one tablespoon a day. Uh, take three tablespoons, four tablespoons, five tablespoons, but make sure you're diluting it with water and spread it out. I really think that's a biggie. Uh, they talk about vegetable juices, the beet and the cucumber, excellent foods that are rich in vitamin C is very healthy. High fiber foods are healthy, uh, not only to help uh, reduce cholesterol, but to absorb the uric acid in the bloodstream. Uh, this is a great, great thing. Uh, green tea has been known to help as well. I'm a big guy with fruits and vegetables. Uh, they also mentioned research about dark chocolate. Uh, dark chocolate, they say, you know, it's got the uh, theobromine in it. It's an alkalide. It's a similar structure in like caffeine, uh, like with mainly found in the cocoa. Uh, it's a great thing to help uh, actually destruct that uric acid. Uh, now, the other things I wanted to mention, now these are really the key highlights. I just wanted to say for last, uh, these key highlights are, when I say amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, if you just do these things I'm about to mention, the few I might have mentioned already, but I'm going to add a few more, this is going to make miracles in you. It's going to reduce inflammation like you've never seen it. Uh, cups of cherries. I talk about cherry ju juice, fresh or canned. I always like fresh. Anything fresh is better. But those cherries are like magic. Uh, the strawberries or blueberries are said that are very, very good. Uh, now, these particular herbs will excrete that uric acid. Uh, anything to do with nettle leaf. Now, we heard like people have prostate problems or other inflammatory problems like stinging nettle. You'll see that in the vitamins uh, and as a component. In, in a vitamin or uh, a nutrient that you're taking, uh, stinging nettle. Any of the nettle leaves are amazing. You can get that on Amazon. Uh, you can get it at your health food store. The nettles will do magic for you. Gravel root, uh, you can get those as well uh, in the nutrition stores. Check it out on Amazon. Gravel root, G-R-A-V-E-L root. Parsley, a miracle. Eat that parsley. It's amazing for you. I'm telling you. Celery, se celery seed. Uh, you can take that as a supplement. Uh, celery seed is excellent. Uh, uh, birch, excellent. Any of the teas that have any of the nettle in there is excellent. So I want to review it. The cherries, the, uh, the nettles, anything with nettles, like stinging nettles, the gravel root, the parsley, the celery seeds, the birch, and the teas that have nettles in them, go for it. That is like the miracle healing like you'll never, ever imagine. I really hope that uh, these things make a big change in your life and in your health. I really, I'm, I'm confident that you're going to be helped and you'll see results very, very fast. Uh, I ask you to uh, leave your comments below this video. I ask you to subscribe. I have great videos, hundreds of self-help videos. Uh, I am a chiropractor at the, with a background nutrition and I have so many great self-help videos probably more on YouTube than anyone out there when it comes to herniated disc, poor posture, the biomechanics of the spine, sciatica, degenerative joint disease. We have tons of great nutritional, uh, medicinal uh, things I've been putting on that's really helping hundreds of thousands of people out there. I'm doing the research. I really want to see this world just turn around, come together, and just get well. Live a happy life, a long life, a blessed life. I wish blessings to you, your families, your loved ones. Share my uh, videos on your social media. Uh, and uh, you can uh, leave comments for me at uh, Motivational Doc on Facebook. But leave your comments below too. Uh, I really send all my blessings out to you. Thank you so much for listening to this video. And we'll catch up with you real soon now. Bye-bye now.